My name is Roman Widger and I teach watercolour painting here. And watercolour painting is vibrant bursts of colour. It's the spontaneous application of bright, vivid and expressive colours. And when I started to teach watercolour, it occurred to me that lots of people don't use quite enough bright colour and they don't make it the most of methods. So what I'm hoping is that people that learn with me will learn different methods and in some ways could interpret and extend their skills. Colour mixing is so important and the mixing of colour, um, if you could just mix me a nice green there and we'll talk through this. Yellow and water go together first, then if you have a green you're using you add it and then blue afterwards. That's because with watercolours, you always add water, the lightest pigment, and then a darker pigment. I can see there that you've got a nice fluid green. That's the kind of thing that you would mix in advance. Um, I've started the painting here. The painting has got the sky and the moon, and what we're now thinking about is green grass. So if you could mix me a couple of greens, and you might use one green, a lighter green like this, and the slightly darker pigment from Prussian blue would make a more intense green. That way, when the grass goes down, you can blend as you go. Landscape is one option with watercolour. People are another valued subject, which people really enjoy painting. Animals seascapes, still life. I believe also that people need to use picture reference. That's because if you don't, you'll spend a lifetime doing fruit bowls. Because unless you can get out and about, and because of various reasons like the climate and time, it's hard to do that. It's much better, particularly if you're a keen photographer and you can take shots on your camera, to then print as picture reference to make it into something you can use and to something which you can mix colours to then accommodate. So shall we try out some of this colour now? Now usually with colour um, you keep it very wet. Um, I'm just applying this to my painting here and beautifully mixed, thank you. And then I'm going to use other colours in with what we've got and it's useful if you've got quite a lot of different variation of colour on your picture and you can mix on the paper, you can um, use quite a bit more water. It's imagining that you've divided your paper like a noughts and crosses board so that either here, here here or here would be the position for your focal point and of course the focal point is the most important, the most detailed and the most vivid area of your painting. So I'm working here on the grass, I want it to be bright and punchy at the front and I'll add some effects like this. By making it bright and punchy at the front and duller, although still quite interesting at the back, um, it just means that everything is better, that everything knows where it is. Detail and brightness at the front, duller, slightly darker and blander goes backwards. And I think down in this corner here we have some quite yellow yellow. And again, I'm going in with a bit of etching. I put, I put in dark paint and light paint together. What I shall now do is add a windmill over there. 